Welcome back to Red Cat Live, guys. You know who I am, I think. Hopefully you do know me by now. You know it's your boy, Big O, Oscar here with Red Cat. Appreciate you guys coming on back for yet another installment of Red Cat Live. Episode 91 to be exact. Um, we kick off this week with uh, the wrap-up of this awesome past weekend. Uh, myself and including a couple of the guys here at Red Cat, we actually went out to Pomona, California, and landed at RCX. If you don't know what RCX is, RCX is a expo for remote control cars. It is held at the Pomona Fairplex. There is an overlanding expo going on at the same time. So it was nothing short of a pretty good time. A lot of cool things to be seen. Um, Let's see what's up to a couple of people. Christopher said, how are you? Good, sir. Brendan Armstrong is in the house again. Appreciate you, Brendan. Um, but yeah, man, it's a, it's, it's a great day to keep be in the hobby. Um, got to go out there, hang out with a lot of cool folks. Terry Ray, what's going on? Good, sir. Um, we got to see some, uh, some cool products from a couple of different uh, manufacturers as well as just some, some features that was just kind of cool. We worked uh, together with... Chance Ace and the awesome folks over at East Bay Sliders. It's a community out of the Bay Area, California, that uh, actually assembled a drift track that we were able to put on some clinics. Not myself, because I'm not that great at it yet. Um, but we were able to at least get some clinics going, show off uh, some drift car action, I put the RDS through its paces out there. I actually ended up driving my RDS out there and having a good time with it and uh yeah it was uh, it was nothing short of a good time uh reefs rc was out there uh, shout out to pirates rc as well man um a couple of different manufacturers that are out there they had a uh lmt or monster truck uh setup where people were doing backflips having a good old time out there which is always good to see uh, a lot of folks with trailers showing up there was uh even joel Sparza showed up with his amazing uh, uh dr green thumb right uh, 59 that he had that we were able to showcase and share when we were out in Long Beach the couple weeks prior. He ended up taking best of show. So shout out to him. He came out and hung out with us and uh, had his car out on display. So thank you for doing that. Felix Delgadillo was also out there as well with one of his uh, pride and joys. It was just a good time overall to just kind of hang out, take in the scenes, uh, you know, bang some doors with the drift cars and just uh, kind of just take it in right um what's going on roadside rc thank you so much for stopping on by foreign sean's in the house what's up big dog how you doing uh daniel campbell how you doing good sir uh representing indiana munchie salazar representing vegas oh boy oh boy we got some folks in here so i appreciate that man thank you guys uh so let's show you guys some of the recap from this last week's uh, uh rcx expo that went on in pomona and uh yeah we'll get it started
guys there you guys have it that was rcx in a nutshell uh it was a two-day event it was open to the public uh anyone off the street can go i believe they were charging ten dollars per day to be able to uh come in and check out the rc scene as well as the overlanding expo that they had going on within the same facility it was an indoor and outdoor event unfortunately there was a little bit of rain it's been seen all over california they're getting dumped with rain everywhere you go it's Nature of the beast. What are you going to do? Uh, but let's, uh, let's check out some of these questions here really quick. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. Um, Nelson B., will Red Cat produce an uh, underglow kit for the lowriders? You know, Nelson, not that I am aware of, um, but that's a great suggestion. Thank you so much for that. I'll definitely put a pin in it and uh, send that over to the engineers and the team and see if that's something that may make the chopping block. So thank you for that. Great suggestion. Uh, Roadside RC, can the public, oh, yep, just answer that. Yes, uh, it was open to the public. Uh, there were some industry folks there as well, uh, but it is a public event. So uh, again, Pomona, California, held at the Pomona Fairplex, and it's a two-day event. Let's see. Daniel Alex, yes, man, there was a lot of cool different setups from lowriders to, from what you guys can see, six by sixes, Listen, we don't, just because it's not a red cat doesn't mean I'm, we can't put it and show it to you guys, you know, as part of the fun, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all for the hobby growing. We're all for enjoying the hobby and having those kinds of avenues where people can express themselves, be it with their uh, vehicles that they have or the vehicles that they tow with or the vehicles that they drive and slide, and slide with. We just like to see everyone enjoying the hobby. There was a lot of kiddos out there as well. We had a couple loaners that we had out uh, uh, with the RDS on that track. And there was a lot of folks that were just enjoying the time and uh, taking a couple laps with the car and getting familiar with it. And it was just awesome. It was awesome to see families showing up. And because it was raining outside, you know, it, it was a great adventure to take part of with your family for a good rainy day schedule, if that makes sense. So uh, absolutely, definitely uh, something if you are in the area that you should check out. It's always a good time. Uh, D&D &D Sports, thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. 
Um, my goal when we go to these events is to always come back with some form of content, video, and pictures that I can share with you guys. Listen, I feel very blessed to be able to do what I do and go to all these different events. And it just wouldn't be fair if I can if I couldn't bring something back to share with you guys that are so awesome and supportive uh, of the RC movement as a whole. So uh, appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Eli, do we do you think there are plans to make a rat rod? Um, no, not that I'm aware of at this time. Um, I don't even know if there's anything on the on the back end with that. But again, great suggestion. And if it's something that can be can be made, I'm sure uh, the powers that be are watching and listening, and uh, they always uh, they always pay attention. So thank you for that, uh, Mike Rodriguez. What's going on, good sir? Uh, Robert Garcia. Hey, thank you so much. Nice meeting you as well. Uh, out in Long Beach. Appreciate that. Uh, Christopher said, so we did share a couple weeks back that we were looking at about a uh, two-month wait on the uh, on the wheels, the uh, the big wheels for the any platform, right? Because they're going to have 12-millimeter hexes. But in essence, you know, most folks call them the donk wheels. But, I mean, they're just big wheels, right? So uh, there is a name for them already, which I can't share with you guys just yet. But uh, they are coming, and uh, we hope another month or so. Uh, because it's only really been about three weeks since we announced that. So we're just keeping our fingers crossed that everything uh, comes in good. And once they arrive, that we can check them and make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to before we put them on the site. So thank you for that. Um, Tim Quintero. Hey, nice to meet you too, man. Appreciate that. Uh, I love that he loves his rock crawler. <laughs> rock crawler. That is awesome. Uh, my three boys are really big into crawling. They have been since they were really young. Um, and, uh, it's fun. Uh, there's nothing fun or for me than to, uh, take them out and, uh, go hit some rocks or cross some rocks, hit some trails and, uh, just enjoy some quality time with them. Right. It's always a big plus. Let's see. Eli says it, for the rat rod, right. Uh, would, it would be easy to do, would be easy to do off of a platform for a low rider. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with them, right? Uh, sky's the limit. We've seen people stretch the chassis and put bigger bodies on them. And, uh, some other folks even take something out of it, right? We've even seen, uh, Harley from Harley Designs, uh, or it wasn't, it wasn't Harley. My apologies. I do apologize. This was, uh, Matt, uh, Kit from Scale Builders Guild actually chop an LR, LRH 285 chassis in half. I'm still waiting to see how that, how that turns out. I haven't been paying too close of attention the last couple of weeks. Um, let's see here. How long until the machete is re-released? Um, if you have or have not had a chance, uh, Filthy Co. RC, um, there was a, uh, post that we shared, I believe it was late last week, um, or mid last week, uh, with an update on the machete and when we project to re-release. I do believe at this time we're looking at re-releasing, uh, sometime, uh, the middle of next month. Uh, we are working on the solution. The solution, I believe, has already been done based on the write-up that the uh, entire team made. And uh, we're just waiting for those parts to be finished being manufactured, arriving here, so that we can then uh, get those out to everyone. Uh, but uh, rest assured, things are happening. We should have everything available shortly. Thank you. Um, Nelson B., what's the next model that Red Cat is releasing? Like a 58 Impala? Um, man, you know what? Listen, the next drop is going to be, I can't share that with you yet because we're going to have a guess what's next a competition for that one when it's ready to, but rest assured, if I am correct, the next one should be a real, real fun one. Um, real, real fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to wait and see. We'll let you guys know as soon as that uh, gets a little closer for you guys. Um, Shedrick Sparks, um, you're just going to have to wait and see. He wants to know, how long for a new lowrider? Uh, well, as you know, we got the 59, 64, uh, the Monte Carlo, a couple bodies that we're working on simultaneously at the same time for those platforms. Uh, but as far as a new new, um, you're just going to have to wait. It, it, we have something coming in later part of the year, probably about as most as I can share with you at this time. Uh, any more that I share is just me not really knowing, right? Because I just, I don't want to give you false hopes. But thank you for the question. Uh, Derek Emos, so I bought an Everest 10 and turned it into a 
Very serious LCG crawler. Red Cat for the win. I love that, man. Tarek, I appreciate that. Thank you for thinking outside the box. Thank you for, you know, just doing something cool with it, man. Uh, if you can, Derek, man, reach out to support at redcatracing.com. Send some good pictures of it. I'll be happy to share those either on the show or on social media. Thank you for that. Darian, what's up, Darian? Thank you for stopping on by. Yoshi Rivera, Little Taco, man, it's a big taco. I'm hoping they will be little in a little bit because I've been trying to lose weight, you know? Um, SRT4 Caliber from Ohio. Hey, what's going on? Good, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Um, Darian, I do. I need to get out to Glendale Avenue uh, for the weekly lowrider cruise. I am down for that. Um, and Nelson B. Hey, sorry, bro. I didn't mean to be a tease. <laughs> oh, man. All right. That's Saturday night, Darian. Thank you for that, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out, man. Right now, my schedule is booked solid. Uh, between uh, work here and my extracurriculars that I do outside of work as well. Uh, Chris Linko, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. Um, Eli says, make a 64 Ford Fairlane. It's a Ford, bro. That's the, really a dirty F word that you just threw at me. Ugh, I'm just kidding. There's amazing things out there. And a Fairlane would be really cool to see. So thank you so very much for that suggestion. Um, a little recap, guys. I know last week we talked about a couple of things. I want to make sure that as things are coming up, that I'm, I'm giving you guys the latest and greatest with this information. I want to be a little bit more attentive to a lot of the stuff that's going on within the community. Um, Steve Robinson, sorry, give me one second. Uh, would love an option for a Monty without a body. Cool story. Thank you for that. We'll see if that is something that can happen in the future, Steve. Um, Rose Header C, let's play 10 questions. <laughs> Will it have four wheels? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Martin Lara, what's going on, man? Delegations are season the house, representing hard as usual. Um, does he use electricity or nitro? Oh, dude, we're not going to mess with nitro no more. Uh, not in the near future that I know of anyways. Um, let's see here. Hey, RCPR 787 saludos. Gracias. Uh, but guys, uh, really quickly, man, there's an event ha happening. It's right around the corner. Uh, today is March 22nd, April 1st. Uh, Delegations RC will be hosting uh, their second annual RC Show and Hop. It's going to be happening at the Southgate Park. Uh, I believe that's Los Angeles. Um, Martin, verify that for me if you're in here. Um, it's going to be a great show. If you weren't there at the first Sears one, it was an amazing show. A lot of great times. They got some support from Jeffries, Reefs RC, Lee Candy and Chrome. They even have a, a Red Cat logo up there. I'm sure they're talking uh, with us as well for that event. The event will be happening Saturday, April 1st, 2023. It starts at 10 a.m. and goes to 4 p.m. Uh, I do believe they charge $10 per car. And if you bring up to five cars, the fifth one is free to enter. So check it out, guys. Make sure if you're into the scene and you're anywhere nearby, make sure you check it out. If you have more questions, reach out to Martin Lara, Delegations RC on Facebook. He'll be happy to fill you in with more details as well. <laughs> it will have axles. <laughs> I love that. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Chris Alvarado, ¿qué onda, carnal? Uh, man, hopefully you're doing well, Holmes. Appreciate it. Um, Bob's RC, what's up, everyone? Hope all is well. Appreciate you stopping on by, by man. Juan Antonio, better with this. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Um, all right, guys. So that also brings us to another little quick topic that we talked, talked a little bit about last week. And a lot of folks are starting to ask about this. Let me move this out of the way. Put it on this side. Uh, about the Lowrider Madness sale, right? We have a sale going on. A lot of folks uh, seem to think that it's only going to last to the end of the month. At this moment, we do not have a set expiration date for this sale. So rest assured, um, once we know when it's going to end, if we want to end it, we'll definitely give good ample notice, hopefully, uh, to let you guys know. But at this time, the sale is going to keep going uh, through the rest of the month and onward. We just don't know how long. So if you are trying to balance that budget, you're waiting for the end of the month uh, or the first of the month, depending on where your paycheck uh, falls and lies on, uh, rest assured that you'll be able to still save on your Lowrider product 
uh, to hopefully get you started. So appreciate that. Um, uh, with that same sale, there's also there is something that ends at the end of this month, uh, which is the Loretta Madness giveaway. Um, if you go to our website or see one of the posts that we have on Facebook and or on uh, Instagram, you should be able to click the link and it should redirect you to a page on our website that will allow you to enter in what your guess is for the highest selling uh, or highest amount volume of selling RC Lowrider uh, within the month of March. If you guess it right, you will be winning something. So um, definitely something worth checking out. If you haven't already done so, head on over there, put in your guess. Is it going to be a green Monty? Is it going to be a black Monty? Is it going to be the training day one, right? Is it going to be a red, blue, green 64? Is it going to be a 59? Which color the 59? Uh, so keep that in mind, guys. If you haven't already done so, make sure you do check it out. Uh, fill it in. And uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, Phoenix RC crawlers. No, not as of yet, sir. Uh, as mentioned a little bit earlier in the show, um, we told everyone it'd be about 60 days out right now. We're looking at a bit, little bit over about a month wait. Um, uh, we're just waiting for those things to be finished, uh, be made packaged properly and sent out to us so that we can check them out and then put them on the website. So we'll let you guys know as soon as they arrive. And, uh, yeah, it should be a really cool product to have. I personally see a lot of people using them, not just on the RC lowrider scene, but hopefully able to use them on your 110, you know, baller crawlers, your mall crawlers, uh, or other vehicles that are up that, uh, that might look cool with them. So uh, keep an eye out for them. Uh, we should hopefully have them within the next month, month and a half or so. Appreciate it. All right. And who was that? Uh, uh, uh. All right, guys. So um, really quickly, guys, before we, uh, we do wrap the show up, make sure I'm just double checking some of these Questions. Um, Bob's RC likes the fender flares. I appreciate that. Um, so I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a quick intro to this. So the, my RDS started with a uh, different manufacturer's HPI uh, body. It was a Corvette body that I threw on it. Uh, I built the actual kit. Uh, did not get the ready to run. This car did was unveiled and used at uh, um, USTE out in Florida, which I had a good time in. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I am not a lifer when it comes to the drift scene. I am a newbie. And I think that's really great for once that I can say that because I'm enjoying a sector of the hobby that I hadn't really gotten a lot of chance to enjoy. Now, many, many moons ago, I was really big into the drift scene, but it was still when it was an all-wheel drive car. We're using all-wheel drive vehicles. Um, and we're talking circa 2012. 2013-ish time, maybe a little bit before then. Uh, so the rear-wheel drive scene was totally different for me. I was a, I'm the kind of driver that likes to counter-steer on my own, um, and the assistance of the gyro really messed me up quite a bit. Uh, but I'm learning as I go, and I'm still doing a lot of things uh, thereof, uh, making tweaks and adjustments. And it's really fun because I get to meet a lot of great folks that have had experience in the RC drift scene, and they're doing... And when I mean small increment adjustments, we're talking about millimeter adjustments to their suspension, uh, their alignment, uh, to try and maximize the way their car drives. And it's not just to make the car perform better, but to really adapt to the way they drive. And it's been really fun to see that and to, to learn as I go. Uh, personally, my RDS uh, has a killer body, uh, 1977, 2000, uh, sorry, 1977 Skyline 2000 GTE. Um, and you guys... Uh, with translucent yellow from Tamiya Paint. Uh, the body did come already painted. Fender flares were already included. Um, that is the uh, the tail lights right there, which let me get you guys a little bit of a close-up. There you go. And of course, I'm also rocking... If you haven't, if you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite, most favorite parts about my cars. Um, I linked up and was able to order a backfire kit from eSpaceSliders.com. And the reason why I like their kits is because they come with a, um, a battery already installed in them. And there it is. You can see it lighting up. 
So, yeah. So, Backfire Kits, guys. Super cool. Um, I know that you guys saw them in, in some of the pictures that, uh, uh, that I took at, in, out in Long Beach. Or, sorry, at uh, RCX. Um, if you don't have one, dude, I'm telling you, you got to get one. They're so cool. Uh, just because you're sliding and then you got that Backfire Kit pop, 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 lighting up. It just it looks cool. It makes for cool pictures. makes for cool video. Um, but that's the outside aesthetics. I got a couple of stickers, some um, stickers that are really personal to me. I won't get into details because I don't want to get, um, you know, too uh, melodramatic. But uh, uh, some really meaningful stickers are on the car at the moment that mean a lot. Let's turn this bad boy on so you guys can see the, the lights. Let's see. Got marker lights as well. Got... Rear tail lights as well. Bob's RC, why two different color wheels? Man, if you don't know the JDM life, I can't help you, bro. Uh, I'm really big into uh, multicolor wheels. Uh, ironically enough, um, they're the exact same wheels, uh, just two different colors. The previous body that I had, the reality is, is it was a two-tone color paint job. Um, it was uh, gold in the back and then uh, a metallic uh, gray in the front. So it went with these, the spec. Um, I just have not had a chance to um, install my other set of wheels to match, color match for this setup. Uh, so it's just, uh, they were already mounted, tires were already on it, so I've just been uh, driving it like no tomorrow. Uh, my car itself though, you guys can see here, uh, for my kit, I am running a Reefs 299 LP servo. Uh, works great with the uh, Yokomo V4 uh, DP302 gyro, which you guys can see sitting down there in the bottom. Uh, LCG pack from uh, Gen's Ace. I do usually run the uh, Raceline series packs, uh, but they're really light. So the LCG pack had a little bit more weight, uh, which is why I went with that setup on this. I am running a Hobbywing D10 ESC and a 10.5 uh, D10 motor uh, as well, high mounted. Um, and yeah, it's just a. Uh, Simple, fun car. You guys can see I have my front tires on the rear because I just literally put it together really quick uh, to have here with you guys. Um, I'm actually about to go hit up the drift track right after this. I'm going to go hit up the tandem drift, um, swap out tires to uh, the actual tires that I'm going to be running on their track and color match my wheels. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a fun game, guys. It's a fun time to, to be in the hobby, as I mentioned earlier. Um, what I personally love about the drift scene is that you can really – kind of like the crawler scene for me, you can really make it unique to your style and make it so that it's it's for you, right? Uh, it's an expression of yourself, an extension of yourself and how you want to uh, do your, your vehicle or your crawler up. So um, I really appreciate that sector of the hobby, that they take a lot of pride in that and, and uh, make things unique, right? And it, it just keeps things fun. So um, check it out, guys. You know, if, if you guys um, are on the fence, I'm telling you, I personally am enjoying it. I'm addicted, and uh, I feel like I'm at an AA meeting for RC cars. I'm going to call it RC's Anonymous. So my name is Oscar, and I'm addicted to RC's. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Let me double-check some of these questions here really quick, guys. <laughs> Francisco says I got a little taco meat stuck in my beard. Nah, man, I'm I've been good, man. I've been I've been actually laying off quite a bit uh, of the tacos. I've been uh, I'm in remission right now, or not remission. I'm in a uh, you know like a a break right now. Um, I'm not destroying as many tacos as I used to for good reasons. Uh, trying to get healthy. Um, RC PR seven eight seven. Una, una pregunta. La tapa de suspensión vendrán de aluminio. RDS. Um, no más lo que son los cuerpos de del aguantiguador van a ser de aluminio. Las tapas van a ser de plástico, así como vienen. Hay una gran posibilidad que en el futuro puedan podamos ofrecer las en aluminio. Uh, ojalá en el futuro. Pero muchas gracias por la pregunta. Uh, Illis Trillian says, Can we get a bed dance from any truck? Uh, dude, I don't think. So we talked about that a while back. I just, I don't know. Um, I'm on the fence. I don't think there'd be a lot of people into that. But, uh, I mean, they're watching, you know, and the suggestion's great. Um, hopefully that might be something that could happen in the future. 
Um, Phoenix RC Crawlers, I love that, man. Wait, they're supposed to match? Dude, we're like this, bro. I appreciate you. Uh, man, Joe Spotify, what's going on, sir? How are you, man? Uh, Detroit Steve says, bed dancing truck, mini truck would be awesome. No, I agree, guys. Great, great suggestion. Absolutely. Um, let me double check. Okay, guys, the Backfire Kit. Uh, the Backfire Kit is made by East Bay Sliders. Doc, um, East Bay Sliders. Uh, a guy named Josh out there makes them, and he has a website called EastBaySliders.com. Uh, you can definitely order them up. He has singles and doubles uh, that are powered off of one same battery. It's a watch battery that's inside uh, that powers it. In fact, let me show you really quick. You guys can see it's sitting right there. And it comes with this little bracket right here, the plastic uh, 3D printed one that you just tape in place. Derek Amos, that's actually a pretty good idea. I wouldn't mind that. A fifth scale lowrider would truly put Red Cat in a whole different lane for real. Uh, I would easily pay 1200 bucks for one. Uh, dude, I, 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 I can get behind that. That's actually pretty dope. I, I, great idea. Great suggestion. Thank you for that. Um, Chris Ravarado, I'd be down for a mini truck. Man, a lot of people re requesting a mini truck, man. That's pretty good, man. Uh, RCPR, hey, a ti, muchísimas gracias, hermano. Uh, te cuidas y muchas bendiciones. Gracias por la pregunta. Um, they make tiny burgers too? Bro, don't mess with me. Don't play with my heart. I'm trying to find someone that makes scale tacos so I can have them like sitting on my dashboard with like wrappers, you know, but they can't be like Taco Bell tacos because we don't do that around here. We've had that joke happen. I'm like, I want the platter. Like I just went to the taco truck and they just hand me like eight tacos on, on a plate. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, enough of that. Guys, I appreciate you guys uh, very, very much. Um, thank you guys so very much for the questions. And thank you guys for coming back and, and just enjoying Red Cat Live and uh, it really started as a, a trial and error type of a situation, and over the last two years, we've we've grown it as much as <laughs> as much as we can uh, up to this point, and we hope to continue growing it uh, in the future. I mean, think about it, guys. The first episode we did with cell phones, you know, I just had a cell phone here on the table, and I sat literally at the end of the table over there, and uh, here we are, week after week, enjoying talking to our community and helping answer questions and uh it's because of your guys support that i have a job so i mean no pressure right keep supporting me please <laughs> but on the real guys uh i appreciate you guys i hope everyone has a blessed rest of your week uh nothing crazy is going on this weekend i finally get to relax and we'll be going to the rockabilly bash out here in uh in arizona which should be a great time um but uh no rc fun this weekend i finally get a weekend off from rc um, which is weird for me because it's like all I do is eat, sleep, everything, RC. Uh, but we appreciate you guys. You guys stay safe, stay blessed. We'll see you guys next week. I'll leave you guys out with a video from the RCX uh, show out in Pomona uh, for those of you that didn't get a chance to see it earlier. Uh, Till next week, you guys stay blessed. We'll see you next.